Today, I took my son in second grade to school. And guess what? I found out that the homeroom teacher had changed from an old guy in his middle years to a hot female teacher wearing a tight leather skirt. She called me to her office and then sat on me, begging me to touch her big, perky butt. Is this you, honey? My wife, Shiyun Wong, threw a stack of photos on the coffee table. Her face was filled with disappointment and disbelief. Looking at the photos on the coffee table, I saw the female teacher in the office wearing a tight leather skirt and square-framed glasses, straddling me. Anyone with eyes could tell what was going on. Honey, it's not like that. Believe me. I took her hand and said excitedly. It was her. She seduced me. Besides, I did it for our kid. Shiyun's expression changed from disbelief to shock. For our kid? That's your excuse for cheating? How could you even say that? Honey, listen to me. Really? She said that if I didn't do this, our kid would be treated differently in the future. Before I could finish, she took out two divorce agreements from her bag, as if they had been prepared in advance. Don't say anything. Let's just get a divorce. You've made your choice, and now you have to face the consequences. Leave the house with nothing. This morning, my wife said that the homeroom teacher of our son called and said there was something wrong with his state at school and asked the parents to come to the school for communication. She had to go to work. I own a building materials company and don't have to stay at the company every day, so I took my son to school. On the way, we chatted casually. He seemed perfectly fine. After sending him to the classroom, I was still a bit nervous. What on earth was the problem? Usually, my wife sends our son to school. I didn't know where the homeroom teacher's office was, so I waited outside the classroom. After a while, a female teacher wearing a black tight leather skirt and sexy black stockings on her legs passed by. Are you Su Jong's dad? She asked. Yes, I replied. She was wearing high heels but still half a head shorter than me. She was wearing a tight white shirt. When I was talking, I glanced down and saw the skin under the first unbuttoned button of her shirt. I'm the new homeroom teacher of class 3. Please follow me. The teacher led me to the office. The homeroom teacher used to be an old man in his middle years. When did it change to a hot female teacher? I followed her. Looking at her perfect curves wrapped in black stockings and her slender legs, she walked with grace. When we got to the office, she closed the door. This office was very small. It seemed to be her personal space. She took out a workbook and showed it to me. This is Su Jong's homework. For several days in a row, it's all wrong. I called the parents here to ask if there's any problem with him recently. He used to be very serious in his studies. I took the workbook and flipped through two pages. Sure enough, it was all covered with red crosses. I was puzzled. When I came here, I talked to him and didn't find any problem. Could it be that there are some family conflicts affecting him? When she asked this question, it really hit the nail on the head. Recently, my wife and I have been arguing a lot. She's always suspicious and thinks I'm cheating. A man has to go out for social events and drink sometimes. I just have more social events recently and I'm under more pressure. I come home late. She argues with me every day and says I'm cheating. Could it be that this has affected our kid? There have indeed been some conflicts at home recently. Maybe it has affected the child. I will try to mediate well after I go back. After saying that, I was about to exchange a few polite words and then leave. Who would have thought that this teacher actually straddled my lap with the workbook in her hand and flipped through the pages one by one while pointing at them for me. Look, she shouldn't have made this mistake. She said as she sat on me. But I couldn't listen to what she was saying at all. The fragrance of her perfume wafted into my nostrils. The black stockings rubbed against my thigh. The white shirt was faintly visible. Teacher, this isn't very appropriate. I murmured softly. This overstepping behavior, but my body was reluctant to push away this perfect figure. Since my wife gave birth, our married life has become less and less. Both of us are getting tired of it. At a moment like this, full of passion, I really want to experience it with her once. You should not want to see your son being targeted by the teacher at school in the future, right? I couldn't refuse this reason. If I have to exchange my body for my son's learning atmosphere, then I can only sacrifice myself once. The teacher took off her glasses and put them on the table. While teasing me, she said, I really envy your wife for her good fortune. I turned my head and looked at the slightly ajar door, fearing that someone might barge in and see. Don't worry, no one will come in. I cooperated reluctantly. If it weren't for being forced, I wouldn't do such a thing. After a while, the class bell rang. She reluctantly got off me, put her leather skirt back in place, 
buttoned up her clothes, and took the workbook to the classroom. I pulled up my pants and turned around to go back. Only I don't know why this thing that happened, just in the morning spread to my wife so quickly in the afternoon. I tightly held the divorce agreement in my hand. My wife has always been simple and kind. Maybe she was just angry and impulsive for a moment. I just need to patiently coax her. She can't really want to divorce me. Moreover, even for the sake of our son, she won't be willing to divorce me. As long as I wait patiently for her to come to her senses. Dad. My son came over. Looking at the paper in my hand. His eyes were red and he asked me, Did dad and mom have a fight? Looking at his aggrieved appearance, it must be that my wife's voice was too loud just now and he heard it. I hugged him into my arms. Don't worry. Dad and mom just have a little conflict recently. But you don't need to worry or think too much. When mom comes back, we can coax mom together and she will be fine. But he shook his head hard. Tears could no longer be held back. With a crying voice, he said, Dad, you're lying. Mom said that she told me not to call you dad anymore. I will only have one dad from now on. He cried so hard that his words were indistinct. I thought he was crying so much that he was talking nonsense. I said with a smile, okay, okay, a real man. Why are you crying? From now on, you only have one dad. Do you have two dads? If you talk nonsense, be careful that I spank you. I raised my hand, pretending to hit him. Hearing my words, he stopped crying. Covering my mouth, he said carefully, Dad, don't say anymore. Mom said not to tell Dad. Dad, please don't tell Mom. Do you know Daddy Henry? Who is this Daddy Henry? Since my wife and I got married, except for me, she hasn't had much contact with other men. Where did this Daddy Henry come from? Okay, I won't tell Mom. Then tell me who Daddy Henry is. Daddy Henry is just Daddy Henry. She thought for a moment and then said, Mom said I have two dads. One is Dad. The other is Daddy Henry. Daddy Henry is very nice to me. He often takes me to eat delicious food and buys me toys with mom. But as she spoke, her voice became choked with tears again. With a wronged expression, she said, but I like dad more. Dad, don't divorce mom, okay? Listening to her words and looking at the divorce agreement that Shi Yun Wang took out as if it had been prepared long ago, a strange suspicion couldn't help but arise in my heart. In the first few years when the company was just established, I traveled around every city to find customers. I was basically only able to accompany my wife and child occasionally on holidays. Every time I came back, I was also passionate and affectionate with my wife. Finally, when life got better and I didn't have to run around looking for business anymore, my wife started arguing with me at home every day. I kept delaying signing the divorce agreement and waited for her to come back and explain clearly in person, but she disappeared for several days in a row and didn't reply to my messages. The last message was I'm so disappointed in you. If you don't sign a divorce, I won't come back. After not being able to contact her for several days, I was about to go to the police, but I received a friend request from a stranger on WeChat. I'm that female teacher that day. I have something to tell you about your wife. If you want to know, meet me at 9 p.m. tomorrow at room 304, Minua Hotel. Well, I went to the appointment alone that day. I really wanted to see what trick she was playing. At the door of the room, I hesitated and was about to knock. Just as I reached out, I found that the door was left ajar. After checking the room number, I pushed the door open and went in. Where is she? The light in the room was on, but there was no one inside. The sound of running water came from the bathroom. I glanced at the erotic glass door of the hotel, illuminated by the warm light. It was faintly visible, outlining the figure inside. You're here. A female voice came from inside. I grunted, looking at her figure under the shower. There were straight and slender legs, and above them was a perky peach-shaped butt. Further up was a slender waist. She was wearing wet hair and flicked it on her back. She put her hair forward, revealing something that shouldn't be seen by me. With just a slight movement, it swayed along with her, making my heart itch. After a while, she turned off the shower. I pretended not to see what was inside and sat down on the sofa. She walked in wearing a towel. I don't know if it was my illusion, but she seemed to wrap the towel a bit tightly, but it still covered the necessary parts. But this kind of half-covered state made me even more restless. I endured and asked, what do you want to tell me? She sat down next to me, crossed her legs, and gently tapped on my leg. Seeing me, are you still thinking about your wife? She put her two legs on me and looked at me directly. 
She took my hand and led it towards the place she could barely cover. I quickly pulled my hand back. I didn't want to make a mistake again. She narrowed her eyes. My consciousness didn't want to, but I couldn't control the physiological reaction. When she saw it, she touched the place that was easily aroused by a little touch and said with a smile, It seems you like it very much. After a few minutes, I surrendered. Now, are you still thinking about your wife? These words seemed to touch a chord in my heart. Suddenly, I remembered the purpose of my coming. I stood up, pulled up my pants, and turned my back to her. With a gloomy tone, I said, Tell me, what's your purpose? I've checked. You're not a teacher at my son's school at all. If you're being coerced, you can tell me. I can help you. Looking at her embarrassed appearance kneeling on the ground, I felt a bit sorry. At her beautiful age and with such a perfect figure, if she took the initiative to throw herself into the hands of someone more than 10 years older than her, besides being coerced, I couldn't think of any other reason. I'm not being coerced. She still retorted with her head down. Don't forget, I still have evidence of you seducing me. Since I can find out that you're not a teacher at the school, naturally I can also make you infamous in this city. Shiyun's photos that found me are still in my possession. Even from a static view, it can be seen that she was seducing me. Oh, oh, sorry. I really had no choice. She stood up and faced me. She actually started crying. I glanced at the two big lumps in front of me and said coldly, Put on your clothes. Talk properly. She silently put on her clothes and told me, In fact, it was your wife who arranged for me to come. Although I had already guessed it. But when she said it out loud, I still couldn't help but feel a shock. How can you prove it? She took out the bank card transfer on her phone. As soon as I saw the account name, I knew it was indeed my wife. Sorry, I didn't want to do this either. But Sister Shiyun said that if I didn't do it, she would fire my brother. Brother Su, I am from the countryside. It's not easy for my brother to have such a job. I can't let him lose this job. My wife and I are both from the countryside. She has a high educational background. After leaving school, she entered a company. After a few years, she was promoted to be a manager. While I have a low educational background and have been struggling outside early on to have the company now. Listening to her words, I felt a bit sympathetic and helped her sit down. I asked, then what are you here for today? She was crying and suddenly seemed to think of something. She frantically pulled me up and pushed me out. Brother Sue, go quickly. Don't stay here. Go quickly. Why? I hadn't reacted yet and was pulled up by her. I was a bit dissatisfied. Don't ask. Go quickly. I looked at her with a cold face and frowned. In less than half a minute, there were loud and continuous knocks on the door outside. Police officer. My husband is inside now. Yes, he is soliciting prostitutes. She is inside now. Please open the door. If you don't cooperate, we will have to take unnecessary measures. I hurriedly shouted, right away, right away. When the door opened, Xiyun Wang looked at me who was neatly dressed, and then at the woman inside who was also fully dressed. Her expression changed. How could you? It must be that you just put on your clothes and came out, right? After cooperating with the police's investigation and understanding the situation clearly and knowing that it was not soliciting prostitutes, the police gave a few lectures and left. I looked at Xiyun Wang, this woman I once deeply loved. Now I can no longer figure out her emotions from her expression. I said coldly now, we have to have a good talk about our affairs. I dragged her out, thinking of the person in the room. I turned back and asked, what's your name? She said tremblingly, I, I'm Lu Jiao. I nodded to show that I knew. I promised her, don't worry about your brother's matter. Since you told me the truth today, I will help you. All right. Say, who is that man surnamed he? I stared at Shi Yun Wang firmly. My eyes were full of disappointment. She lowered her head and didn't answer. I asked again, let me guess. Is it one of your first loves? Before she was in a relationship with me, she had a childhood sweetheart. As for her first love, I only know his surname is he. I don't know anything else. When did you start an affair? She was so nervous that her hands sweated. She wiped them on her clothes and said with tears, Let me go. Suen, let's get a divorce. Let me go. Okay? I don't love you. It's torture for both of us. I threw off her hand. Let you go? Who will let me go? For so many years, is there no affection between us at all? Divorce and make me leave the house with nothing? Dream on. Suen, if not for anyone else, think about our child. With my salary, I simply can't support that private school. 
Do you really want to see her have no future? She brought up our son. I was furious and lifted the child. You still dare to mention the child. You actually let her call someone else dad. Is her real dad dead? Let her have two dads. When she saw me getting angry, she suddenly fell to the ground and asked meekly in a low voice, You know everything? What do I know? What you have done? You know it yourself. After saying that, I looked at her nervous reaction and felt something was wrong. After a while, I realized and angrily grabbed her neck. Are you saying that the child is not mine? Xiyun Wang's face turned crimson as she choked on her words. As I released my grip, she seemed to accept her fate. Since you know now, let's just get divorced, she said, apparently convinced I'd leave her because the child wasn't mine. But they were wrong, both her and that bastard. The kid was already eight years old. We built a bond over all these years. Besides, she was pregnant before we got married. Which meant, I slapped her hard across the face as the realization hit me. All these years, wasted on raising someone else's child. My voice was hollow as I asked, so you two were together before our marriage? I pulled out a cigarette, lit it, and took a deep drag as she knelt before me, clutching my pants leg and sobbing out her confession. He came to see me one last time when he heard about our engagement. We were both drunk that night. I didn't even know whose baby it was until the child was three. Please, she begged. For the sake of our years together, let us go. Just divorce me. I shoved her away. You think you can just throw me aside after making me a fool all these years? No way. I won't let you off that easily. You want a divorce? Fine. But only after you've lost everything and felt the pain I'm feeling. You brought this on yourself. I spent weeks tracking down the man, her old flame. Finally, one weekend, I took my son to visit my in-laws. They were delighted to see us, always having viewed me as the ideal son-in-law, hardworking, successful. When they asked about Shiyun, I made excuses about her being busy with work. Just as we sat down to eat, he showed up, about 35, carrying fruit. My blood ran cold when my son called him dad. My father-in-law, oblivious, made introductions. This is Henry, from our hometown. He grew up with Shi Yun and recently moved back. At the table, Henry kept doting on my son. I couldn't help but comment acidly, you're so good with other people's children. I'm sure when you have your own, you wouldn't let them take someone else's name. The room went silent. Only Henry understood my meaning. Of course not. That's why I'm working on it, he replied smoothly. I laughed coldly. Fat lot of good that's doing you. My son still has my name. The situation exploded. She and arrived, frantically trying to protect both Henry and our son from me. My in-laws were confused, desperately trying to keep the peace. After much private discussion, my father-in-law approached me with an apologetic smile. We're sorry, but they've known each other since childhood. Maybe, maybe we could work something out? We'll still treat you like family. Just let Sheehan have custody. I stood there, watching them huddle together, feeling like an outsider in what I thought was my own family. I laughed bitterly at how this family seemed to miss the point entirely. She was the one who had wronged me, yet somehow I was being painted as the unreasonable one. As I stormed out, I heard Henry's smug voice behind me. Initially, I had planned to give Sheehan one last chance, but she showed no remorse. So be it, I would show no mercy. I knew what mattered most to Sheehan's family was Henry's position as a local official. But in my years of business, I'd met far more influential people. I gave Lu Jiao, a colleague, evidence of Shi Yun's financial misconduct at our company and had her spread rumors about the affair throughout their village. Soon, the family couldn't show their faces in public and Henry faced an investigation. But this was just the beginning. When Shi Yun confronted me, demanding to know why I had to be so extreme, I just smiled. This is only the start, I told her coldly. Through my connections, I discovered Henry's academic credentials were falsified. His story about studying abroad? He'd actually been working in another city. Yet somehow, no one had caught this fraud when he became a local official. I held on to this trump card, waiting for the perfect moment. I drive around their village, letting the gossip spread. I wanted everyone to remember how Shi Yun's family had condoned their daughter's affair, to feel the shame they deserved. A week later, I saw Henry again. The constant questioning had taken its toll. He'd lost weight, but his arrogance remained. You think this will break me? He sneered. You're just a pathetic businessman who raised another man's child. Shi Yun and the boy are mine. You'll see when she divorces you. I calmly took out my phone and, right in front of him, 
called in an anonymous tip about his fraudulent credentials. He lunged for my phone, but it was too late. He'd thought his small town connections would protect him, but he'd underestimated my resources. As I watched the police take him away, he shouted, You think this will make Sheehan stay with you? She loves me. You're the real failure here. My mother-in-law caught up with me, pleading, Why are you doing this? After all these years together, where will we show our faces now? I shrugged her off. This was your choice, I replied coldly. This will be the last time I call you mom. I called Shi Yun to discuss divorce. She came eagerly, thinking I'd finally seen reason. I presented her with the agreement, generous with money, but with conditions she hadn't expected. She signed happily upon seeing the property settlement, then screamed when she reached the custody terms. The child should be with me. He's Henry's son. She protested. Never, I said coldly. After all the years, money, and love I've invested, he stays with me. You'll never see him again. Later, Lu Jiao met me, dressed provocatively but somehow innocently. She refused my payment for her help, instead confessing her feelings for me. I've fallen for you during all this, she said. Let me take care of you. I hesitated. After years of a loveless marriage, the temptation was strong. Lu Jiao pressed closer, tears in her eyes. I don't need anything official, she pleaded. We're both from similar backgrounds. I understand your struggles. Just let me be there for you. As she held my hand to her face, begging to be my woman, I found myself nodding, despite my reservations. Maybe this was a new beginning. In the days that followed, Lu Jiao's attentiveness made me feel a decade younger. The vitality I'd had in my 20s seemed to return. Meanwhile, Henry was sentenced to a year in prison for his fraudulent credentials, and Shi Yun's parents couldn't handle the constant gossip and scandal. Both fell ill from the stress. When Shi Yun came to see me next, she was almost unrecognizable. The investigation into her embezzlement had forced her to sell everything. The house, her designer bags, everything I'd ever bought her, to cover the missing funds. She wore old clothes from years ago, a far cry from her usual polished appearance. Seeing her reduced circumstances filled me with a grim satisfaction. Please, she begged, kneeling before me. Can't we go back to how things were? I still love you. I was deceived. Our son needs his mother. I looked at her coldly. Love me? Or love my money? Love the lifestyle I gave you? Once, she'd taken advantage of my indulgence, spending without limits, making unreasonable demands. Now, with Lu Jiao by my side, a woman who asked for nothing but to care for me, I saw Shi Yun's pleas for what they were. Husband, I was wrong. So wrong, she sobbed, seemingly forgetting how just a month ago, she tried to force me out with nothing. We can remarry, start over. I'll never make the same mistake again. I laughed bitterly. When I had nothing, when 80 of my last $100 went to you, you chose Henry. You said you loved him, asked me to let you be together. Well, now I have. No, I was young and foolish then. How can you throw away all our years together? Her tears left me unmoved. Leave, I said. We have nothing between us anymore. As for our son, you'll never see him again. That's the price of your betrayal. I called security, and they dragged her away, as undignified as I'd been the day her family threw me out of their house. With everything settled, I felt not exactly relieved, certainly not happy. Lu Jiao slipped quietly to my side. Knowing this wasn't her moment to intervene, she hugged me gently. It's all over now. Shouldn't you be happy? She asked softly. I managed a stiff smile. Yes, it's all over. Then why aren't you happy? She gave me a delicate smile. She took off her windbreaker, revealing black lace lingerie. The skirt was just the right length, displaying her proud body-to-hip ratio even more fully. The faintly visible neckline and small dots were clearly visible there. She hooked my hand, said, let's do something to relax. With a gentle pull, I was in the embrace of a beauty. I understood her good intentions. With a smile on my lips, I held her and entered the bedroom. This time, I will be the one in charge. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking with me through this intense journey of betrayal, revenge, and its aftermath. If this story resonated with you or got you thinking, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It really means the world to me. What would you have done in this situation? Was the revenge justified? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss the next story. I've got more complex tales of love, loss, 
and human nature coming your way. Your support means everything. It's what keeps me writing and sharing these stories with you. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Until then, keep questioning, keep feeling, and most importantly, keep being your authentic selves. See you in the next story.